Good morning, everybody. This is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. Um, today is still October the 6th, and I am feeling almost 100%. 100% um, in spirit, but almost 100% in body. Now, I have told you um, a couple of days ago about the intense birthing spasms that were um, felt in my spine and the restriction. You know, that was the death and rebirth phase. My time frame of that was three days. It was the death of Christ and it was the resurrection of Christ. Um, that was my time frame. Um, and it did work out exactly as it's supposed to um, in relationship to the Bible. Um, I don't know what your journey is going to bring to you, and please don't have judgment upon yourself. However your journey turns out, whether or not it's one day, two weeks, three days, in accordance to what it is, it's supposed to be exactly that. A lot of the times, the reason why things don't play out precisely the way it is um, well, one is because our paths are different, and two, because you don't understand something. Um, I like to use this phrase a lot, and it comes from the Bible. It is, you can't serve two masters. We decide every day what we're going to have by what we believe in. Serving two masters isn't about the devil and God or about good and evil. It's not just about that. It is about what are you going to believe today? Um, and a lot through our, I'm talking about our ascension and, and I'm talking about our symptoms, okay? Because there's a lot of symptoms. We all know that. We go through a lot of purging, 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 and it's so intense, especially early on in our process it becomes a period of, oh my gosh, I am just completely dying. I am sick. I am, I can't do anything. I'm tired or I'm always um, with, um, and it seems like I'm infected with something or whatever it is. I stopped going to the doctors a couple of years ago. I stopped going to the doctors and I stopped relying on an outside source. I implemented my belief system. I implemented that I knew I was going through a process of, of rebirthing, of birthing into my true form. I didn't understand it all, but I had to prove by my actions what my heart believed to be true. Your ego is going to come back and tell you you're sick. And there was actually one or two times in between these this two-year period where um, with the intense purging process I became um, so infected in my sinus cavities and my my throat I, I lost my voice I remember being very very um, ill the symptoms were terrible the swelling the intense um, um, drainage everywhere and I went to the doctors to get some medication and I took the medicine and I felt worse. And then I remembered, this is how I always feel when I take medicine. That I know I shouldn't really be taking. Um, that gave me, you know, prednisone, which I have been on so many times throughout my lifetime as a result of having asthma or um, from my chronic pain. Um, or for, for migraines, for my cluster headaches that they told me I had. And I always developed something else or my symptoms always got worse and I said you fell for it again and I said no more you are going to learn to ride this out and the only thing that I have invested in to help me through my process is saline saline nasal um, wash I use that every day all day long because we are always purging out something. There is a drainage somewhere. Um, ears might be um, popping and opening and your nose is uh, trying to, your, your, because of your, your, your 
crown is trying to expand, your your brain is trying to create um, synchronicity and everything. Your chest is tight because you're trying to open up on your heart. That's the only thing that I invested in. And I refrained from even taking Tylenol. And it was very difficult not to take medication um, a few days ago. But I fought it. I fought it and I said, no, I believe in what I am receiving. I believe in what I receive. And that is a form of serving. Now, and it goes with your belief system. It goes with um, how you choose to feel. It goes with how you choose to act. Everything. Who you where you are on the um, the scale of balance are you with the the good and bad emotion bad emotions or good emotions are you with the good thoughts or the bad thoughts are you with the good actions or the bad actions you get according to what you choose now i didn't mean to go into all of that but because i am feeling great great things are coming to me today and um, I love to share my heart with those who receive it. Um, and so in the Bible, um, which is where I resonate with, is something, because I ended up seeing um, a person wearing a striped shirt. And um, it took me to Isaiah 53.5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our inequities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. With his stripes we are healed. And of course, for Christ, that is the lashings that he took. And I went on to try to learn more about that too. Um, So when I saw the stripes, it was a confirmation of the healing process. And this is why it's so important for you to choose what side of the scale you're on. And allow flow to be created. I chose to stay in alignment with receiving something greater than myself. Not with my past associations of pain, of limitation, of um, immobility, of uh, medication, of illness, all that stuff. And this goes in accordance to what I have been speaking about, opening up to um, your full potential. When we are being healed fully. We have activated our DNA according to how lengthy it's supposed to be. And I mentioned in one of my videos, and I, I'm trying to do more research on it still because I haven't found anything other than what I was given about activating the 17, activating 17 strands of DNA. Now, I don't know if that's on top of what's already given, or the total. Because I know I have had a certain amount. They say we only have 2% that's active, and the rest is lying dormant. So, I don't know, does that mean I have 19 total? Or is that I have a certain amount already activated, and now 17 additional? I don't know. And so, if I'm activating 17 strands, other people are opening and activating 17 strands. Um, the stripes are the healings, healings of Christ because he took the blunt of it. And if you believe in the power of what Christ stood for, you believe in that light and you embody it, you become healed. Healed of diseases, healed of pain, healed of um, egotistical living, he, um, healed of limitations. And this goes with the vagus nerve being opened up, the um, spinal fluid 
flowing, the energy of life force energy moving freely. All of your chakra centers have been opened, activated, fully um, able to receive light. You have embodied and pulled down higher chakra system into where your seven existing one are, ones already are. Um, and you have um, opened up your full brain capacity. This is huge. This is exciting. Um, and I really... I really um, love when what I am receiving works with the Bible and I can hand over words to you to make it make sense in a, um, a metaphysical concept. You know, and I, I spoke about um, Boaz and um, Jakin, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing these correctly, so um, I, I'm just doing the best that I can. Jakin means that he will establish. Christ will establish us. Um, we will be established. You know, that goes with we can be healed. We can be resurrected. We can stand tall. We can be illuminated. We will have strength because of Boaz. We will be established and have strength in him because we are fully erected. Our temple has been fully erected. It's constructed. It's built on a the strongest foundation. Um, so I just wanted to share this today. You know, just because I'm feeling really good. And it came into my awareness. And um, when we can just give parts of our heart as best as we can, whether or not it's it means anything to people or not. It's still received in some way, shape, or form. If this isn't me pressing a viewpoint. This is me sharing uh, my own personal experience, though. Um, and kind of uh, putting it with great excitement. And sharing it in terms of biblical teachings and inner guidance um, and hoping that you guys can just make the connection. If there's, if you can't, you know, I'm not holding that against you or myself. It's just, it's the part of my, my journey. And I know that because I am here doing this, um, a lot of you are experiencing the same way, same things anyway. And I don't know. I didn't mean to ramble about that. Um, something else I ended up seeing and I totally forgot to mention it is still about the illumination process and why it kind of takes so long um, because I ended up seeing from my perspective my point of view as if I was standing on a dock looking out um, on a lake um, or could be an ocean whatever a bed of water and the sun was um, you know if I were to put my finger out and just kind of measure from way off distance it would be um, about an inch off of the horizon which meant that for that sun to fa finally go up to its highest point was going to take some time. It was going to take hours from in that, you know, day anyway. Um, so that was telling me that the process of complete illumination from within was going to take, it wasn't time yet. It hasn't been completed yet, and we have a few more days, a few more weeks, whatever it is, pertaining to your own life, because whatever you understand, you receive. 
whenever you can make that aha connection, that really gets that spark flying within your heart, you integrate it. That's why it's so important to have that emotion, to feel it in your heart, to have that belief system in your heart. And please don't feel anything negative. That's what we're trying to refrain from. We're trying to feel excitement without still that attachment. But it's the excitement of a belief that moves you forward. Um, so I know that when I finally see that the horizon or the sun has actually reached its highest point in the sky, that, of course, the illumination has taken place. You know, I've already expressed what day I thought it was going to be. Um, after the 1010 gateway, anyway. Portal. So, I just wanted to share that. Because it is approaching. It is approaching. I have been given confirmation of the glowing penal glands. And uh, it's going to be good. Christ's radiance lights my mind, and my whole being is illuminated with truth. Christ's radiance lights my mind, and my whole being is illuminated with truth. I challenge you to recite that, affirm it, confirm it, speak it into existence. Christ radiance lights my mind and my whole being is illuminated with truth this is christy much love health and healing your way i am bringing purpose to your life take care